Let's roll. What's this? So for this video, it's sort of like an update to previous news since we got more photos for it. So we did a video earlier today showing off the Wave 2 starters and uh, yeah, it was interesting. So check out that video earlier today. So for this one, let's quickly go over. So for Hasbro exclusives, we know that there's Typhoon T4, which looks really, really nice. Sphinx S4, which again, really cool but now look we know a new starter which is kraken k4 now it has a new performance tip from what i'm able to tell now the slingshot stuff always confuses me so i'm not too sure what that is i could be wrong if there's already a driver that is like that and uh, or performance tip i should say let me know because i'm not too sure on the id i tried to check before but not too sure design looks very nice you can see they're doing an awesome job with evolving these bays. Kind of, this kind of looks in a way sort of like an evolved in sort of the shape for Nepstrius in a way. Next one, Ogre 04, which this one I know is uh, has what is it, Jaggy Slingshock. Really nice design. I always love these Hasbro exclusives. So we know two of the singles. We know two of the starters. At this rate, we're gonna do a video two hours from now. And it's gonna be the two pack with how they're updating it. But we did a video before, and it was because what I was told for what the translation was Kraken K4, which was the bay that was in the shape of Groot in the silhouette, which was this. However, for the source that we have, the name is Air Knight. Now, think about it like this the leak we covered a long time ago from Amazon, what names did we see? We saw Kraken K4, and guess what? Knight. K4, which should be, yeah, Knight's K4, which that should be a starter. So, maybe it was a switch up with the names, probably not. But very funny, very funny how all this predicted a lot of the future releases. And it's going to be a little bit hard to tell now on what releases are gonna be Hasbro exclusive and what releases aren't. Now, some bays we can obviously tell if it's a Hasbro exclusive, but solely based on the name, but we're gonna have to wait and see because these bays are compatible with level chips. They aren't just the basic dual layers. So it, it leads me to believe that, oh, we're gonna be on for a pretty exciting road. So if you don't know what this one is, we don't have the Hasbro image for it. However, for the Tekratomi side, we did get a silhouette that was a teaser for the random booster. And this bay is, what's the code name? Turn K? Kind of makes sense. It's in the shape of Garuda, sort of, in a way. So ironic how we thought it was, in the, it was a Garuda. Then after, it was another bay. And then after, it was actually this bay. So that's kind of it for the news. I did want to correct myself on uh, that information before. I'll make sure to correct the title too, so less people are confused. But let me know your thoughts on these Hasbro exclusives. I think personally with this stuff, it looks sick. It looks sick. I love it. Personally, I want to see how far this road's going to go for these exclusives. But of course, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And tell me what the performance tip on that cracking is. I'm, I'm not sure. I know the ID, but I don't know what it actually is. I saw from the shape and I thought, is that supposed to be guard maybe? But no, it said it was too small. So... Let me know in the comment section below. For now, like the video, share it with your friends, and as always, have an awesome day.